we've had lots of questions this year about IDing plants and especially vines and I've been getting them a lot more since I've been sitting in the Hort chair having to answer these questions. So today Kim and I decided that we would come out and show you kind of what some of these are and how to ID them and possibly how to control them in your own backyard. And this is especially true because we had a kind of a fun back and forth banter when we were in Norfolk about whether it was Boston Ivy or poison ivy. So here we are standing in a park where we have Virginia creeper, we have woodbine, we have Boston ivy, we have wild grape, we have euonymus, and we have poison ivy. And even wild strawberry, which was a question from last week. Exactly. So these viney things are either positive and great to have in your yard or climbing if you don't really care about whether they're climbing and if they're not going to do damage or they can really be vicious. So Terry, let's talk about the Virginia creeper and the woodbine. So <laughs> so the, these are great. Um, people ask us a lot of times for ground covers. These can potentially be a nice ground cover. However, if you do have some place for them to start crawling up, they will crawl up and almost overtake or overtake some trees. They turn a beautiful red and they're, you know, native. They twine, they twirl, but you can see what they do when they crawl around the ground. And we have a couple examples here of what happens when you mow them because they just get shorter and they just hang right on. So they're gonna go like this across the landscape. So let's talk about the euonymus since that's one you've got in your hand or winter creeper. So this is one that we get a lot of times questions about what is this insect on this plant? It does get scale quite frequently so this is one that sometimes people don't maybe want to put in there, but it does creep along the ground, but it also will start crawling. All the way up a tree again. So let's talk then about Boston Ivy versus Poison Ivy. And our debate on air <laughs> was leaves of three, let it be, which is classic Poison Ivy. But Boston Ivy, when it's young, has leaves that are not divided. So same thing, this is gonna crawl, this is gonna climb, and if it's intertwined with poison ivy, then you've really got a problem. And we have just wads and wads of poison ivy. If you mow the poison ivy, it grows very aggressively on the ground again, then goes up the trees. Poison oak, poison sumac, all of those are really difficult to control. Control being? So control being most likely it's going to end up being a chemical control. It will be one of those brush killers where you're going to have to cut it down and then paint it and it's going to be multiple different applications throughout probably a couple three years depending on how invasive it is in your area. And finally we're going to end with the poison hemlock, which is not a vine, but it is all over. We've been getting so many questions about it. We've talked about it a great deal on air. And again, this is a don't touch, bag it, tag it, throw it in the trash, and be careful about getting that in your landscape. 